Yo, guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And to all you fans of Sudum Siala, I hope you guys are doing well. Here at Urban Bars, I've decided to pay my homage to Sidham Sial as we come up to the two year anniversary of his untimely murder. I'm trying to get as many Sidham Sial tracks as I can. Some of them I've heard before. I think a lot of them I've not heard before at all. And a lot of these ones I'm trying to get the English subtitles so I actually begin to understand what these tracks are about. Because a lot of them I saw in the summer a couple of years back and I was fiending for Sidham Sial. His voice was amazing, his videos were great. I didn't really understand what the videos were 100% about at all and that is not honest truth so with the help of the subtitles it should help to get me here to understand what's going on what Sidham Sial is about and what he was doing and why he was doing things so guys the track we've got today is called Racks and Rounds and Sidhu is performing this with Sikander Carlin is that his name if I've got it wrong please let me know down here in the comment section but guys, let's check out this track and it's called Racks and Rounds. And I think it's got the English subtitles, so let's get it. In life, everyone achieves success, but I did it differently. So this looks like it could be some sort of like a visualizer. So we see these gold guns, gold-plated guns and ammunition as well. So I'm not sure what this is about. So this is off the Moose Tape and it's Sidhu Musiala featuring Sikanda Carlin and again produced by The Kid. Let's go. So that's interesting because I didn't know that. So I know for a fact Sidhu and his father were so close and they look spitting image of each other. Incredible. But he's saying he did it his way. And from as soon as he got the facial hair, becoming a man, so I'm assuming he was early teenage, that his dad gave him a 32 caliber, a 32 caliber. So he's grown up with everything that you see and everything that is around him. He's grown up from a very young age. So as soon as he came of age, is surrounded by controversies and disputes so it's nothing new to Sidhu Musiala he's, it's part of his life he's growing up with it people it's not a fake play it's not someone looking for clout this that and everything else but it is what it is and it's so it's almost commensurate with age and etc so as he got older he started to handle bigger weapons but then he started to have to handle bigger feuds bigger arguments bigger controversies i love the hip hop it's old school hip hop beats people old school hip hop I love this people the analogies he's making to him being up in the air soaring like did you say an eagle or a falcon his enemies are like worms in the ground sometimes a pack of dogs might be able to surround the lion so what he's saying is he is the ultimate but 
at some point you can still be broken down by your enemies as well at the same time and terminology <laughs> Guys, we have to go back. We have to go way, way back. The Sidim Siala was saying, and then, so this is Sikander Kalon with the rat. And there was a lot he was going into. Sorry, guys, I got a bit of a cold. My nose is running itching. I've got no tissue to wipe my nose or anything. So apologies on that. But there was so much that was talked about. Oh, my goodness. So our man Sidi was saying that he had to get the brownies, 12 gauge, to sort out <laughs> the people who needed to be sorted out, people. Unbelievable. So, yeah. And it's so true. As he got bigger and better and just more, the hatred, the jealousy got more and more intense. It is really weird how this happens in this life, people. And sometimes you have to even protect yourself, protect your family, protect your neck, as they say. Wow. See, with the rise in my grandeur, hate and jealousy for me kept rising as well. That is just crazy, people. And as my price went up, so did the hate. Wow. <laughs> I like this bit. Then I realised I needed to pierce their bellies. Boom, boom. <sighs> And I found this courage by doing wrong things. I just got a bigger heart. So he's saying he didn't find courage by doing wrong things. Just get a bigger heart to stand up to what you believe in and all will be fine. He just grew a bigger set of cojones, as they say in Spanish. Wow. And then we're going to get to the rap because the rap was quite interesting. There's a lot of things I found out recently about Sidim Siala from dropping these reactions on the daily people. So I found out a lot by just looking at the subtitles and... Just trying to find out exactly what he said. <laughs> so this, God is only one and he is most powerful. There's no past, no future and present. He is unique. So he's not afraid of death. My ancestors were mar did I say ancestors? Were martyrs. So they died for what they believed in. And Sid is the same. So a person controlled by desires and urges would never understand the importance. So I don't know what Tawit means. Ah, oh, so I think the explanation's here in the parentheses. So it's a mule or locket. 
and it usually contains verses from the Quran or other Islamic prayers and symbols. I don't know if that's right. But I don't know because Sidhu is a Sikh. So I don't know about the verses of the Quran. So if you guys know what's, what that is all about, let me know down here in the comments section because that's confused me a little bit. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what that means. My pen has a disease of killing it. It's killing it with his right, There's countless people have turned into snakes by talking to other fake personalities like them. So snakes slither around in the grass and tend to stick stick together people. Snakes would attract more snakes. So when there is a famine, they remember the jat. So I've heard Sidhu Masiala talk about the jat a few times. I think it's people from his region. He's mentioned that a lot. And so in the parenthesis, he's saying it's a double entente. Because when there's an actual famine, only then people remember the farmer. Oh, right, okay. It's happened in India. People think of him as soon as they get into some trouble. Okay. Oh, I see. So when there is a famine, they remember the Jat. And I think Sidhu has referred to himself as the Jat as well. That's what I'm saying. So this is the bit I wanted to find out. So I think they're comparing Sidhu with a turban drake. So he flows like Drake, but don't think I'm a foreigner. So I need just to, if you guys know exactly what he's talking about. So he's a turban Drake. So are we talking about Sikander Carlin or is he talking about Sidhu? I'm not sure. But he's saying he's a turban Drake, but he's got the flow. But don't think he's a foreigner because he can still rap in the native the native tongue. So he's connected to his roots. That's what I'm thinking, guys. But let me know in the comments section what that was about. I was just really interested to see because I saw when he said Drake came along. And the funny thing is, I've only just recently heard a Drake track. So I didn't know so much about Drake anyway. So I'm just new, new to the game here. Just on, on what Drake is, who Drake is. And... So that was a bit there. So yeah, I found this out, I think, yesterday. The day before. So Musa is Sidum Siala's village. And it makes sense if you think it. Because a lot of people in their names, you'll hear a lot of Spanish people, French people will have in their name, the region they're from, the family name, and they'll marry maybe the mother's and the father's names together, but also the region where they're from. So a lot of, say for instance, someone's called De La Rue or something, which, which I think is for, for, from the street or the something, I don't know, anyway. But it, it, it just tells you the name. So when you hear his name, Sidhu Musiala, the, the Musa is his village. And then we're hearing this guy, Sikandar Kalun, say to Mahali. So that is Kalun City. So from Sidhu's village to Kalun City, you'll see the car. So obviously everyone knows who they are in, in the region. So that's, that makes perfect sense to me. So here, how can we forget 47? It's embedded in our history. So... I was about to say, so 1947. So is that the partition between India and Pakistan? Let me know down here in the comment section, guys, because I think that's right. And it's really weird because if that happened in 1947, one year after that, you had the state of Israel being made into a nation. So a lot of things happened in a very short period of time, straight after the Second World War, which is just unreal. So here, here he's saying, how can we forget 47? It's embedded in our history. So the explanation here is the partition of India in 47 and the AK-47 assault rifle that signified the Sikhs' armed struggle against the government of India. So I don't know anything about that. So in 1984, guys, let me know what happens with the struggle between the Sikhs and 
the government in India. So I don't know anything about that. So it's a double, apparently. So, yeah, let me know down here in the comment section. <laughs> So I love that because didn't Sidhu start off with a was it a 32 caliber now he's moved on to a 45 revolver oh. and also we had the 12 gauge the brownie so as the song is progressing Sidhu's weapons are <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was fantastic. And as it says there, subscribe to the Moose Tape. And subscribe to Sidham Siala's channel. Channel, rather than challenge. Channel. So guys, that was Racks and Rounds. And that was Sidham Siala. That was the kid. And on the mic, we had Sikanda Carlin. That was a lot, people. A lot. So I didn't realize, or well, it's in the back of my memory. I, I knew something that happened like in 1947. I think that was the petition between India, Pakistan, so when the states separated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But also, I didn't know there was an uprising in 1984 with the Sikhs and the government. I didn't know anything about that people. So let me know in the comment section. But it's just interesting to find out more about Sidham Siala. So I think was his dad called Sander. I think it was Sander. I heard that just a few days back. Also, we're talking about. Jat, if you want to know a bit more about Jat, if you let me know down here in the comment section. And also his village is, is Musa. So obviously Sid Musiala, so it makes perfect sense, people. So just find a little bit more about what he's around and what he's about and how he's grown up. And he was saying that from a very young age, he was always equipped because he had to be. That was his life, it is his life, and it always would be his life. So there was no fakeries going on with Sid Musiala. And he was saying that his ancestors were martyrs. And that's what happened to him in the end. He became a martyr as well. So I really love that track. Not seen it before, not heard it before, racks and rounds. And it's just really interesting just to hear, there's a lot of like gun imagery around that, but he was expressing and explaining why it is, how it has been and how it looks. So from the outside, it looks probably a lot more than it is from the inside, if you know what I'm saying. So he's absolutely clarified why he's got like the 32 caliber, 45 revolver, Colt 45 or whatever it is, blah, 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 12 gauge brownie, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is, people. I really enjoyed that. And what I really enjoyed about that was it was so many traditional sounds. If you know what the sounds were that made up that track, please let me know down here in the comment section. I absolutely love that. I really love hearing traditional sounds and how they can be blended into something you get ingredients isn't it so you get the traditional so you tell or you mix the old with the new and you come up with something fantastical and that was that track racks and rounds that was really really good really really good don't know what more to say apart from make certain guys you have fun and you look after yourselves you look after each other you subscribe to my channel here at urban bars i will welcome you with open arms people but more important than all of that guys please make sure make certain to come back to the next Urban Vars reaction, guys.